Hi, my beautiful Pisces. So, I want to do something for you guys, and I, I know that it might be, this is so funny the way my ear look. It's so big, but I fucking love it. Yo, okay, so I want to do something for my Pisces, and I think it's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope. Like, th- I, y- you guys might like this. I'm not sure. But my email, I, th- I believe my email is in the description box, and if it's not, I'll put it down below. I want you guys, if you have a tarot cards, if you have tarot cards, okay, and you're saying that you want to learn tarot, I'm just going to do something real quick. I don't know. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> I'm feeling very generous right now. I am going to be on my trip uh, this weekend, and I know I need to be leaving now um, soon, but I want you guys to do a how do they feel about me spread, and this is what I want you guys to do. I'm going to show you, right? Shuffle your cards, of course. Get that good energy in there. Some of you guys don't know, like, I have candles. Like, you know, my candle is lit right now. So, you know, I do have candles all around because energy is real, you guys. And I do have, I keep, you know, I sage and I keep my windows up sometimes, you know, to make sure that energy don't get so trapped in here. So I want you to know that for sure. Protect your energy every time you do readings, you know. Everybody is different. I get drained sometimes from doing readings or um, like I, literally I'll do a reading for Pisces and I have to lay down for five minutes because I feel like it took so much energy out of me or something like that. Like your energy, if you don't protect your energy while you're doing this, it will affect you in some way. You know, there's so first I want to let you know that always protect your energy before you do readings. But if you guys do have tarot cards, go ahead, shuffle your cards, right? I'm only going to take a certain amount of people, all right? So after a certain amount, I may not do it, but I think this will be fun. Just shuffle your tarot cards, and I want you to think of somebody. One thing I feel like you guys should do is do pick a cards here. Um, like, do a pick a pal. Do one pal and another pal, and ask how does this person feels about you. And like, I feel like in your head, go ahead and go ahead and say, okay, this power, I want to know how Reginald feel about me. I'm just guessing up a name, Reginald. And then on this side, say, I want to know how um, Dominique feels about me. Right. And then you do those two pals, how these person, how these two people feel about you. So you already claim that number one is going to be this person. Number two is going to be that person, but you don't put any name to the pal until you finish shuffling the cards and putting the cards down. That's when you say, which pal is going to be who. And then I feel like that real that that helps. Um, I feel like you should, you know, do pick one pal, do it, and see how that person feels about you, and then do another one and see how that person feels about you. If you have a romance angel card, pick use one, use one, get spice it up, use different cards. I don't like to use all those cards that people be using and stuff because I don't know. I feel like it, I like looking at readings that where people use all those things, but I don't like to do it myself personally. But it's all good. It's all love. You know, you still get messages. You still get really good detailed message. But I try to, like, depend on my intuition more. So I want you guys to pick five. I want you guys to pick seven cards, okay? Pick seven cards. Think about the person you want to know how they feel about you, okay? How does this person feel about Pisces, right? So I'm going to think about somebody in my head that I want to know how they feel about me. I'm going to pick seven cards here. So my seven cards is going to be, who knows? But I'm going to lay them across, seven cards. How does this person feel about me? All right. So I'm going to pick seven cards out here. The first card is the Ace of Pentacles. This is what this person is feeling about me. All right, then I'm going to pick inside of the pile. Ooh, the star. So I got the Ace of Pentacles and the star. You guys, I didn't even pick anyone. I wasn't thinking about anybody. And then the next one, I got the tower in reverse. Okay. And then the next is two of pentacles. And I said seven cards. And then the next one is a ten of wands. And then the next one is the ace of wands. There's a baby in that card, you guys. Someone asked me if I was pregnant. Get out of here, baby. I bet I'd be. Page of wands. All right. <laughs> so for me, I look at these cards. You lay seven cards out. Lay seven cards out. All right. When you lay these seven cards out, I want it. To, I want you to tell me what you see, just intuitively, like from your intuition, from what you see in the cards. How do you feel like this person feels about you? Now, mind you, the first thing that I recognize is there's no cups card in this reading. There's no cup. There's no emotion. The only thing that I see is a star, and that's what someone's pouring out. So that stands out to me. Someone's pouring outside of a cup here. Okay. It's a very delicate situation is what it looks like. 
I don't even know who this person is. I'm just saying, I'm just reading what I feel intuitively. I feel like this is a very delicate situation because of how precisely this person is doing this, how they're going about it. They have one eyes closed, almost if like they're looking at it, you know, like, like how they're looking at it. It's like something here is very delicate. It's very precise. It's something that needs to be done with a lot of care um, and a lot of attention. So very attentively, something needs to be, there's a lot of it. And then we see the, the overall energy is a page of swords here. Okay, so it's again, speaking of uh, someone that's watching uh, with close intent to communicate or to say something is a positive message here. The first card out here is the Ace of Pentacles. So this really lets me know that someone here is very, they may be watching me very intently. They may be watching what they say to me very, they're very um, particular about what they say to me. Um, I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is something where they want, someone's watching me. Someone's watching something that I'm doing. They're watching me with intent. This could be you guys. Okay, who knows? The tower here in reverse. So I feel like this tower here is like, yeah, someone here is definitely taking something into consideration. They're taking something into um they're taking something into consideration. They're taking something here, maybe that I've said to them or communicated with them. They're, they're taking this. As, so someone feels like this is a very delicate situation here with me and them. Um, they do feel like whatever they communicated or said to me or whatever I may have communicated, that it needs to be something here that's taken that's taken very seriously and um, it's very delicate in some way. So the tower is them really wanting to avoid further disasters, further issues. But then I also feel like they're also kind of like two of pentacles here. This is like kind of on shaky grounds here, right? They're kind of like indecisive. So yeah, ten of wands here, like two. Looking at the two, the two of pentacles with the ten of wands, I feel like they're they're really cautious, or there's like a precaution here that they're taking. They don't want to um, do something here to uh, maybe upset me or offend me. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like this is somebody walking on eggshells here with me. Someone is walking on eggshells. And I feel like they feel burdened by the situation in some way. They feel very burdened by something here. And honestly, I feel like... I feel like they want to have a new passionate start here with me. You know? Two aces in this reading upright. So this is obviously somebody here. Aces are about new beginnings, fresh starts, new opportunities. Okay. Um, something creative with the ace of pentacles here, with the ace of wands. Definitely something new and creative. Someone wants to secure something. Like this baby in this card really makes me feel like someone is really, again, this is a delicate situation. So someone here is wanting to have a new passionate start here with me. They may even want to nurture this. You know, they want to nurture this situation like this. I'm hearing this time. This time, baby. Who sang that song? Is that John Legend? Anyways, I feel like this time around, I feel like someone here is really, because the Ten of Wands is an ending. Oh, it's like, okay, we can finally lay that burden to rest. We can finally just kind of, maybe I can finally just kind of like, you know, Put this burden to rest or whatever burden that we're carrying they can start over with the ace and then we move to the page of wands so that speaks volumes to see the 10 and to see an ace again is like an ending and we're starting back over now we're having a new passion to start with each other and i'm going to treat this situation like a newborn baby i'm going to make sure that i'm delicate with my words with my with my feelings with my emotions with what i'm saying how i'm saying it how i'm portraying something to you because i don't want to fall out with you again i don't want to you know, have another issue or situation here with you. And then the page of wands is the heart of how they feel. So this is them actually um, feeling very enthusiastic in some way and very optimistic about moving forward. And they may even be communicating this or talking to me in that way. And I don't know who this is or what this, <laughs> I, I don't know who I was thinking about, but it's just, you know, I'm trying to give you an example. So the first 10 people who use their tarot cards, 
and lay out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards. I'm going to do a free reading for you. If you hit my inbox out, uh, message my inbox, tell me what your seven cards are. Uh, put the person on your mind that you want to know how this person feels about you. Lay your seven cards out and I'll read your cards for you. I help you to interpret and understand it. Um, um, I can either message you. Uh, yeah, I'll probably message you back. I think the best thing for me to do is message you and we can go back and forth about it or I can tell you what I've seen within those seven cards. I'm not going out of the rim of those seven cards, but this is what I want to do for my Pisces viewers for always rocking with me and being patient here with me. Pick your seven cards out if you have a tarot cards. If you have tarot cards, pick your seven cards out on how this person feels about you shuffle it get the cards laid out and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go over it with you I'm gonna tell you what I see how this person feels about you and how they're coming towards you okay all right you guys let me go ahead and pick one of my romance angel cards just in case some of you guys have that too so I'm gonna pick my romance angel cards here mm. And, you know, what is the message that you would like me to know about this person? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is awesome. The overall energy is separation. So I do feel like this is somebody here who does not want to be apart from me. You know, trust card is right behind it. So I feel like this is somebody here who wants me to trust them or they want they want me to feel secure with them or they want to feel secure with me. Um, so, yeah, I don't feel like like I said, it was like separation here is right here. Time apart from the, your partners on the horizon. It was at the top of the deck. So, yeah, this is somebody here who does not want to. I feel like this person doesn't really want to lose me. They don't want to lose me as a friend. They don't want to lose me as a, as a lover or a partner or a friend or I don't know. They're they're. Um, their spiritual consultant, whatever it is, you know, their reader, their intuitive reader, whatever you want to go. And then I feel like this right here, love yourself first. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, I honestly feel like this is about this person respecting me, respecting themselves, respecting the situation. Like this is someone here who I feel like this person has a lot of respect for me in some way, or it's just like, this is about them respecting um, healthy boundaries or respecting my feelings or emotions in regards to a situation. This is like the Nine of Pentacles to me. It's like someone here feeling secure in the situation. Okay. Let's see you guys. <laughs> 